exercise for 30 seconds, two rounds. Your five minute dynamic warm up is going to begin with marching in place for 30 seconds. Notice that my knees are above my belly button and I'm swinging my opposite arm. So when my right knee comes up, I'm swinging my left arm. When my left knee comes up, I'm swinging my right arm. I'm keeping that in opposition throughout the movement. You want to work on building a nice, consistent pace. Exercise number two is going to be slightly more intense as you turn it into a jog in place. Make sure you're on the balls of your feet this very low impact, you're feeling your breathing rate and your heart rate going up just slightly. Make sure you get your arms involved by swinging them as much as you can. You're going to wrap the jog in place up and you're going to transition into your side to side skier jumps. Notice my feet are relatively close together. I have a slight bend in my knees. I'm keeping my core tight and I'm also activating and engaging my arms as well. Remember to keep this low impact, just slight movements side to side. Get that breathing rate and heart rate up. And now you're going to step back into a lunge. As you step back into the lunge, you want to lift your arms up nice and high, pulling through your chest and opening up your abdomen as well. Notice I'm dropping my lunge pretty low to the ground, bringing that knee just an inch or two off the ground. Work on your balance here. Look straight ahead. Keep your back nice and straight. Get a good pull through your pecs and your chest. And your fifth and final dynamic exercise are going to be butt kickers. Here you want to drive your heels all the way up so they contact your glutes at the same time you are swinging your arms. This is going to get your heart rate up a little bit higher as you're moving your legs up higher off the ground. Keep it low impact but make sure you get a good breathing rate and your heart rate is starting to build up consistently. Now we're going to start into round two notice that I'm marching in place a lot faster here. I want you to pick up the pace. You can actually turn these into a little high knee runners if you're feeling good and warmed up. Remember, choose your intensity and choose your impact here for the warm up. For the second round though, you do want to start building your intensity, getting that heart rate up and that breathing rate up a little bit more. Get ready transition into now jogging in place for 30 seconds. Notice here I'm getting my knees up a little bit higher, turning these into more of a high knee run as I'm feeling a little bit more warmed up. The higher you get your knees, the harder the effort is going to be for your body. So you're going to feel your heart rate going up pretty high. If it's going up too high, just slightly modify it, turn it back into a jog in place. Keep those arms engaged and activated. Here, transitioning into your skier jumps again, side to side, just going a little bit faster this time, keeping that pattern coordinated as you swing your arms and you jump side to side. It's important here to have a slight knee bend, keeping your core tight, looking straight ahead. You don't want to bend at the back or lean in any way. All right, now, we're slightly changing this exercise. You're still going to step back into a lunge, but this time you're opening your arms up to the side, opening up your chest, really feeling that pull. Before you were lifting your arms straight up, and now you're just opening them up to the side, getting a little bit of a different pull through your pecs. This, you still want to keep your chest up and confident, keep your back straight, don't lean forward, get ready. And we're going to wrap up our dynamic warm-up here with our final 30 seconds of butt kickers. Keep that back nice and straight. Try to get those heels to contact your glutes if you can. It's okay if you don't quite have that flexibility. Don't worry about it. The goal here is just a good, nice, 
healthy, dynamic warm-up, getting our body ready and prepared for our body weight workout or whatever workout we're going to do. Thank you for joining me in this five-minute dynamic warm-up. Your body is now ready and prepared for a good, full body workout.